the goaltenders right here. That's Elizabeth Cook. Uh, Liz is the Athens goalkeeper. She's a great young goalkeeper. She'll uh, have her work cut out for her today, but she can uh, definitely play well with both her feet and with the ball in her hands. She's a good shot stopper. Look uh, from time to time over the top of the players' heads and see a game in the distance there. And that's uh, Scotia Capital Ventilation System against, I'm not sure, that the red team perhaps is either Dunbeck or uh, the Valley team, I think. Now here's the goal kick. Well taken right into the middle. Good example of a young, or for young goalkeepers, uh, Liz takes her own goal kicks. So she's obviously practiced them and she kicked that one well over the Valley halfway right. line. Here's her foot race on the side and Clark wins it, puts it safely back. Athens keeps possession in their end. Here's Clark, the goal scorer. And here's a chance for DU. Over top of the box with the shot! It just goes over top of the bar! And uh, she tipped it. I don't know, yeah, he, he Liz tipped the ball over the bar and Louise caught it and called the corner kick. The replay. You can see Stephanie lining up. She took a look, takes a touch. Here's the shot and you'll see Liz just tip this at the end. There's the tip, just over the bar. The and, ball didn't sit for her, did it? No. There's another corner kick for Dartmouth United. And it's another good one. Liz Cook pounds it out. And we have another corner kick. Realize there's a camera and he's gonna be quiet for a while, I think. <laughs> Another dandy. That's curling right to the far corner. Liz Cook gets her hands on it. It's well threat. held. Well held, Liz Cook. Liz has a teammate um, that's traveled with the national team to Japan for an exhibition game. Pretty exciting. It's pretty exciting for, uh, for her. She was in the final last year. And there you see Liz Cook. A good first touch there by uh, Kucher. A good decision by Kucher there just to keep possession. Played the ball back to Zoe Dyer. Cook. It goes off the thigh of Laura Scarf. Here's Gillespie trying to break. Defensively uh, is where he's trying to make the correction. There's Clark only having to uh, field a few shots on net. A uh, few saves from corner kicks. Premier League women's teams playing here. And there's a bit of speed from Sarah Drake. Giving some pressure to the goaltender. Having to get rid of it really quickly. Still has it, still has it. Gets the cross in, over in front of the net. Oh, and Drake just misses that one. Couldn't get her foot on it. That one reminded me of the last free kick that Kucher took. It went right out in front of uh, Sarah Drake. He did a side foot. It was a little more difficult. Well, a lot more difficult, I should say, than the, than the cross. Front. Puts it back to Walton. Walton being pursued. That's a good ball through ball. And the keeper well, Cook comes out cool. and, and smothers that one. Did real well to come off her line there, Pat. She read the she read the play. If she would have stayed in her goal, it would have given a chance to uh, the midfield player to score. But she read it. She's watching the game from where she sits. Kucher trying to win that one, and there's uh, Laura Scarf coming in and just pounding it into to Athens end. Keeper uses her feet, being outside the box. Can't quite get it across, and there's four Ath Athens players. And they play it back to the keeper, Cook. And Gillespie is going to make it out of her own end. And there's a ball into space. Sarah Drake. The ball goes back to Liz Cook. And the referee Sutherland waves uh, that that was not an, in, not an intended pass. Running right behind him. There's a long, hopeful ball towards the net. That could be trouble, but Liz Cook. Yeah, Liz did well to right control there. her area there. She come, she come off her line. She's got the advantage of being able to use her hands in that 18-yard box. Did so. Her ball. And here's a shot from pretty far out. And that's no problem for Liz Cook. And there are two games going on right as we uh, speak here. Yeah, the, your defenders to take so much time when, when there's a speedster like Drake or Hawk around. They're, they're both very quick players. Track, really track athletes. There's a long kick. Robinson can't get her head on it. Right away is DU's half. There's a flick on by Drake. But it's right into the hands of awaiting Liz Cook. Didn't have much chance on that shot by Sarah Drake. 
point blank. First half, Melanie Clark was deal dealt well with her, and in, in the second half, she's changed sides, and, and uh, they're causing trouble. She's causing trouble for uh, the DU defense. Good, good uh, decision to knock the ball forward by Rebecca Doyle, too. Johnstone. Here's Drake. Drake might have a chance. And she slides, but there's no foul. A vital tackle there by Mel Clark. She scores a goal, and what a tackle that was. If she mistimes that tackle, it's a penalty. But what a good tackle. Sarah Drake, again, uh, Wagner inflicted on it. I didn't know if it was Scarf or if it was Lisa Wagner, but it was a good flick on from the halfway line that was directly from a goal kick from Christina Barrero. Yeah. And uh, Crystal got on the end of the free kick and nearly oh, scored. Oh, that was a dangerous play. <laughs> Crystal Walton has, is a great dead ball kicker as well as uh, if it's open for Robinson. Uh, Sweenard was wide open. There's the ball that's high up. Here's Drake. Can she get on? Oh, it's a flick on, but it doesn't get out anywhere. John Stone, another good cross. And it's banging around in the box. Barrero's up there. Wagner challenges, but Cook gets it. Yeah, Dyer knocked that right back into the scoring area. And Cook did real well to, to get her hands on it. Here's uh, Liz Cook taking command here. Uh, finds himself down a goal now with at the 74 minute mark. Yeah, just about 16 minutes or so left in the game. Liz Cook trying to keep the ball out of the middle. And it works. Robin. Back in. Here's a ball that gets all the way to the keeper. A long high ball by Cook results in an Athens throw at half. Ball went off of on the other corner and got the own goal, but she just had a free header. And she's great in the air. You just saw her win one. At the 99 minute mark, here we have four goals for Athens and two for Dartmouth United. Should be 90, Pat. Should be the 90th minute. <laughs> Thank you very much. But it's swallowed by Athens. Here's a chance, popped in. Bit of a Hail Mary shot there. From number seven. Let's go to him pretty safe on the goal. And, and there's the final whistle, and Athens United 